Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. Let's solve lead code problem number 1601 on this beautiful Sunday morning. The problem is maximum number of achievable transfer requests. In this problem, we are given an integer n which actually indicates the number of offices. Say we have three offices. And the second thing is we have also given transfer request array. This means that one is wants to go from 1 to 2 and 2 wants to come from 2 to 1 for example this 1 to 2 indicates that 1 is trying to go from building 1 to 2 and somebody from building 2 wants to come from 2 to 1 and somebody is also trying to go from 0 to 2 the thing is all these offices are completely occupied and you can take a transfer request only if somebody is going out and somebody is coming in that is the number of seats won't get increased how many people are trying to go out that many people have to come in say for example two people are going out of building one then two people have to come back to building one only then you can take these two requests so what is the question the question is what are the maximum number of requests that you can accompany in order to achieve this that is zero inflow and outflow for a particular building for example in this example the first and the second request can be taken why because somebody is going from building 1 to 2 and somebody is coming from building 2 to 1 but this operation can it be taken no right nobody is trying to coming to building 0 so this place one of the places here will be vacant and one of the places here will be increased so this cannot be taken the number of requests that can be accompanied is equal to 2 so we can at max take two requests and make the transfer so this will be our answer so how do we come up this the first thing that comes to our mind is fine we have 1 2 and we have 2 1 why not cancel them out right we, we have 1 2 we will try to find in the entire array let's find 2 comma 1 and we will cancel this but is that going to work let's take another example for example let's take this example 1 2 2 3 and 3 1 right what does this indicate this completely indicates that all of the three operations are possible though there is no 2 and 1 right so in this case our answer will be 3 so the initial idea of this approach won't be successful what is the next approach if you say in the problem constraint we are given that the maximum number of buildings is 20 and the second thing most important thing is the maximum length of request the maximum transfer request is equal to 16 so this indicates that this is somewhere leading us to backtracking or generate all the options that we have got for example let's take this example and try to generate all the possible options that we have got the first thing is this request what are the two options that are available to this request one is you will include this request or you will not include or exclude this request right one is you will include this or you will not include this so in this case each of this has two options so what is the total number of options we have to generate it is nothing but 2 to the power of k where k is equal to the number of requests fine right so but how do we go about generating all these options the first idea is let's take this array itself that is the request array itself and we have three buildings now the inflow and outflow to all the buildings is 0 0 0 let's take the first request that is 1 comma 2 somebody is going to go from 1 comma 2 so what happens if somebody is going from 1 to 2 so we accept this request and what will happen building 0 there will be no change but from building 1 somebody is trying to go out where is he trying to go out he is going to building 2 so this is our first option what is the second case that we are taking up that is we will not include this if you are not including this everything remains the same that is 0 comma 0 comma 0 then again after we are done with this let's next go to the second request that is 2 comma 0 here we are done with this and we have generated two options but now let's go to this request once we go to this request again we have two options here and two options 
here if you look here at every stage just like a binary tree our options will in increase so the first thing is we will include this what happens when we include this that is 2 is going from here to here the thing is 0 minus 1 will be minus 1 but 1 will become 0 and this will become 1 1 minus 1 0 why because 2 to 0 and what if we don't include it will remain as the same then again we have an option from 2 to 0 1 0 minus 1 and if we don't include any of this 0 comma 0 but don't forget that here we are what are the number of requests that we are passing we are approving one request here we are approving zero request here we are approving two requests and here we are just approving one request so don't forget we also have to pass to this how many number of requests that we are approving this data also has to flow from the top to bottom we have to keep track of how many number of requests we are accepting and how many number of requests we are rejecting so once we have got generated all the options again in the next case we will be having two more options everywhere we'll be having two more options but let's directly go into the answer option as we know these are the true transfers where will that be coming from that will be coming from we will include the first one but we will exclude the second one and we are trying to include the next one what is the next operation that we have got the next operation is 2 comma 1 so what will happen in 2 comma 1 in 2 comma 1 somebody is trying to go out from 2 that is this will become 0 and 1 this will also become 0 and this will also become 0 and the total number of requests will be increasing by 2 so this is the answer or this is our base case where all of the transfer is equal to 0 and this is the maximum that we can accompany so in simple words i will be explaining this once again what are we trying to do is the first thing is we will keep track of the transfer for all the number of buildings this is our initial thing and we have the requests array right so we will consider the first request and we will be generating two options right and for these two options again we will be generating two more options and two more options until we are exhausted with all the requests and once you are exhausted with all the request finally if the transfer array is like this then we will our answer will be the number of requests and the maximum of all these answers will be our final answer or result so what will be the pseudo code for pseudo code for this the first thing what all has to be passed to this backtrack the first thing is we have to pass the index right because in which request are we trying to do at this point of time that is the first request or we are trying to do the second request so it will be told by the int index then we will pass on count what does this count indicate this indicates how many requests have we already pro processed so this indicates that and transfer indicates how many people have been transferred for example 0 1 minus 1 so this is what is indicated by transfer so what is the first option that we have got the first option is we will not care about this particular request we will just don't consider it at all so what happens we will just increase the index by one our count and our transfer will be remaining the same because we are not considering this transfer so our count or transfer won't change but if we want to include this these are the operations that we have to, to do what are we doing here is in the transfer that is in this particular array of 0 0 0 we are changing increasing and also decreasing so that is what we are doing we are decreasing one and we are increasing the other so once you have done with this that is the first request we will be calling the second request what we are doing here is we are increasing the index by one why we have to call the next request and we are also increasing the count here unlike here we are increasing the count here why because we are considering this request we are approving this request so the count becomes one and our transfer array has changed but don't forget we have to also change the transfer array once we are done with this why because it has to come to the initial position after we have done this so what we are doing is whatever we did here we are just reversing that right so now what is the base case the base case is we are exhausted with all the requests say there are five requests and we are done with all the five requests 
वन वी आर डन विथ ऑल द फाइव रिक्वेस्ट वी विल चेक If all of them are equal to zero, if even one of them is not equal to zero, we'll just return it out. If all of them are equal to zero in this stage, our count will be our answer, and we will take the maximum of this or whatever is the already existing. For example, our existing answer was three, but in this loop, we found out that four requests can be approved, so our answer will be changed to four. So that is what is happening here. See, uh, I can understand that backtracking. do it is not very tricky but this is a complex algorithm if you understand this it is very easy to solve all the problems because it's not tricky it is just a complex method to understand once you have understood this trust me you can solve all this problem straight away without even consideration you can just code the solution for all this problem so this are the problems with the increasing order of difficulty that you can consider solving to get better at backtracking we have a telegram group where we'll be discussing about this problem and the solution to this problem or if you have any doubts regarding any of these problems you can just ask me so i have mentioned the link of this telegram group in the description please do consider joining the telegram group dive into the solution so as we mentioned in the pseudo code the first thing is we'll be calculating the base case that is if we have exhausted all the index then in that case we'll be checking if there is no zeros then only we'll be computing the answer and this indicates that what we are doing is we are approving this request if we are approving this request what happens is the guy from the 0th index is going to the building on the index one so that is what is happening here and we will continue with the backtracking that is we continue generating options on this options that is what we are doing here and finally we will reverse whatever we have done here and we will consider the next option that is we will not at all include this building what happens in that case the index increases by 1 but the count and transfer will remain the same then finally in the main function what we are calling is we are calling this backtrack function with the initial configuration that is we we are at the zeroth index and we have not approved any request so that is the initial case and all the building transforms will be 000 and finally we will be returning the answer one main thing here is if you remove this backtrack and if you place it at the beginning there is a change in the time taken to run the problem please do comment in the comment section why this is happening and thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe